Hello everyone, today I'm going to teach you on how to make a fake blood. Okay, so on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make two kinds of fake blood. So first is one that is more condensed, more uh, non-liquidy, so you maybe can put it on your face so it wouldn't drip all over your uh, clothing and everything, so it would stick to your face. And secondly, of course, is the liquid one, the one that is as the real consistency of real blood. Starting with the one that is more liquidy, the real consistency blood, and uh, here's what you need to do. You will need to prepare some warm water, uh, liquid sugar or liquid glucose, or you might also can use uh, corn syrup if you can't uh, find uh, liquid sugar in your country. And you would want a uh, cocoa powder and you would also want um, red food coloring. That's it. All you need to do is that. All you need to do is prepare that stuff. It's uh, you can find all these things at your ordinary kitchen, and it's not hard to make. You only need some spoons and some a bowl. So I'll start now. So first, you need to um, have one empty bowl, and you will want to. Put your cocoa powder also on a bowl to make it more easy. It's because uh, it's a bit hard for me to find uh, cheap cocoa powder. I, hello doggy. Apparently my dog wants to join. Uh, so I just used uh, um, like a cocoa, hot cocoa powder. It's just the same thing. You can use any kind of milk cocoa powder but it's the same so yeah firstly you would want to add um, half a cup of uh, warm water it has to be warm and secondly you would want to add two tablespoons of liquid sugar and you need to mix that up so the liquid sugar is actually uh, uh, a way on how to um, make the water more condensed, but not too condensed. Like the blood is not as flowy as water. Blood is a bit thick, so you will want to add the thickness by adding uh, liquid sugar. So after you uh, mix it pretty well, you will put on uh, uh, one tablespoon of cocoa powder and you will also mix that well okay so next is you need to add in the red food coloring so I don't really measure the food coloring it's just that you put it in until you want the redness that you are searching for so I'm just going to put some drops and we're just going to mix it. So as you can see here, uh, immediately we have uh, red um, and dark brownish kind of uh, fake blood. It, the color is, is near fake blood. I think it's, it's pretty good. So you would, if you want it to be more red, you would add in more uh, red coloring. If you want it to be darker, you would add in some cocoa powder. And I like it as dark as this. Some people might uh, think that it is a bit dark, but if you want it to make it, if you want to make it a bit lighter, you can add some uh, cornstarch, or you can just leave it like this. Like I like it like this. So yeah. So here is the first one, the real consistency uh, blood, fake blood. Okay, prepare a new clean bowl and this time the ingredients are the same, just uh, you would want to add the liquid sugar more 
than before, and you would want to add less of the water to this one. So firstly, you would want to add like four or five, maybe, tablespoons of liquid sugar. And you would only want to add like, for every five tablespoons of liquid sugar, you would want to add like two tablespoons of water and you can multiply that. The same goes here, you would also want to add one tablespoon of cocoa powder and mix it well. So after you mix the cocoa powder and the liquid sugar and the water uh, very well, you will need to add the red food coloring. Again, just add it and stop if you think uh, you got the redness that you want. If you're satisfied with the end result, you can also check uh, what, uh, how it looks like in a piece of tissue paper. So let's see the difference between the condensed one and the liquidy one. The condensed one is, it drips, but it's not very drippy. It is good to put it on uh, like uh, makeup looks if you want to if you want to put it on your face you would want to put a bit of it if it's not uh, thick enough you can add more sugar uh, liquid sugar and yeah it looks like real blood it's fake though let's try the other one. So, as we can see, this one, uh, if it hits the tissue paper, it actually looks lighter. But you can use this for if you want to make a movie, if you want to add like a stabbing, and if you want to, like a blood splattering all over the place, you can use this one. This one, though, is not good for makeup looks. This one is good for makeup effect. And especially, it's Halloween soon, so you will want to know how to make fake blood. So yeah, this is the end result. You can see the difference. And if you have any questions or any comments, please comment on the comment box below. And do also please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.